the the question that I and I'm going to stumble my way to this question. I stumbled I through the making of the work. Good. So we're simpatico here. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if there's something you could say about the kind of work you hope a viewer is willing to do when they show up. The work tells the viewer to not expect an ETA of meaning. And I know that goes against a lot of cultural expectations that art is supposed to provide answers. As a human being, quite honestly, there is no ETA of meaning and there is no actual destination of meaning. And that is still so central to my work. These paintings all come together under a title. It's Sparkling Cities with Egg Monuments. And I think that the title is both clearly descriptive, but also indicative of some sort of conjecture or goal or dream even that I have about the future. The egg, it reminds me of previous moments in which that motif has appeared in your work, but it has a new job to do here. I, I love that, and I think of it that way. It's one of the main protagonists of the painting, but also it has now morphed into a public monument. Yeah, there's a public for that monument, but we don't see people. Somehow the city constructed itself yeah. way before the inhabitants arrive. In that way, it's a, a fantasy, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's a projection of a beautiful world that's sparkling. The insistence on the deep humanity and vitality of dense urban populations. The egg monument in front of me has the word please written on it. There's another one over there that has the word thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is a society or a population in waiting that venerates charity and warmth and generosity. It's an especially difficult society to imagine right now. At the core, I'm still looking at those two phrases as the cornerstone of civil society. Yeah. Are your eggs fragile? I think what is fragile is what's being incubated and mm -hmm. gestated. Most of the eggs inside of the eggs are also in the process of gestating something. In this case, not only gestating a new life form, but it's also gestating a new building. Building, yeah. You know, so it's both a thing and a life. Going back to the relationship of fantasy and conjectural thinking, the new life form is intersexed. The paintings, I think, set up all sorts of simultaneities, not contradictions. Right. It's contradictions if you see it from a particular cultural perspective. From an either or. Uh... Yeah, as opposed to complementary simultaneity of events, of space and time. Yeah. Your work has never been place where difference is manhandled. Rather, it proliferates, it's allowed free reign, and they're big, and there's a lot in them, and to deal with them means dealing with all of it. The work that I made during the AIDS epidemic was angry and hopeful and happy, mm -hmm. so two mm -hmm. opposite things. Yeah. So here I am much later in life, and it's philosophical dilemma of tristesse, and jouissance still, not butting heads, but... Um, so dialoguing. Yes, coming together. One thing about a life force in a gestational moment is that we don't yet know what, what's coming. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the, so the element of the pictures that denotes vitality, denotes that something is happening, is not yet finished. Mm -hmm. That recommends a kind of silence. To be determined. To be determined, you know? You know, come back in a year. <laughs> we'll tell you. We'll tell you in a year what happened when these pictures met the world. Yes. <laughs>